We have Crimson Desert, an action-adventure open-world RPG developed by Pearl Abyss, the creators of Black Desert Online MMO. And let's get this out of the way first. The graphics and level of detail shown in the trailers are absolutely amazing. The game uses a custom engine capable of producing an insanely good-looking environment with extreme draw distances, volumetric clouds and dynamic weather and climate effects. The story details are still kept secret, but essentially you'll play as Macduff, the leader of a mercenary gang, trying to survive in a hostile world. The game looks like a blend of Assassin's Creed and Shadow of Mordor, with a touch of Dragon Age since you'll interact with your companions and join them on an epic journey. The combat is fast-paced and is inspired by Taekwondo, standard wrestling and classic close combat. Crimson Desert is packed with various activities and interesting gameplay elements such as fishing, puzzles, dragon riding and more. Although the developers are focused on providing a stunning single-player experience, there will also be some form of multiplayer mode. In regards to the current development progress, it has been quiet for some time now. A year has passed since the announced delay of the game's release, and until now there has been no news on the subject. The main reason why we included this title in our list, besides the obvious high-quality production behind it, is that Crimson Desert will appear at this year's Gamescom at an unofficial private event with a new, longer gameplay video. This is very exciting news, and even though the game will be shown behind closed doors to a select audience, this gives hope that the game is still in production and that development has never stopped. Crimson Desert is planned for both PCs and consoles. Stay tuned for new details that are coming in the following months. At number 9, we have State of Decay 3, a highly anticipated sequel to the popular zombie franchise. For fans of the Walking Dead TV series, this is the closest experience to the post-apocalyptic zombie world depicted in the series. Undead Labs, the creators of State of Decay, have now evolved into three separate studios working together and have a much larger budget for this sequel. This is their most ambitious title to date. The developers are focused on delivering a AAA quality zombie survival experience and are in no hurry to get it on the shelves too quickly as they're still figuring out how to do it right. Based on job postings on their website in the recent past, there's a strong indication that the biggest game-changing feature in State of Decay 3 will be some sort of online, live service multiplayer component. But what does that actually mean for the game itself? Well, it could potentially open up the possibility for a persistent online world with different communities controlled by real players on a huge map. And while this certainly sounds like a fabulous idea, until we get more information, we won't know for sure. Apart from the confirmation that this new sequel is still in pre-production, and it's built on Unreal Engine 5, we don't have any other actual details to share. As with the previous titles, the game is scheduled to be released for both Windows PC and Xbox. Realistically then, we can expect this title to be released in 2025 at the earliest. As always, we'll keep our fingers crossed that we're wrong in this case and get the title sooner than expected. At 8th place we have Beyond Good and Evil 2, an upcoming action-adventure prequel to the 2003 original. The game is set in a huge open world and is played from the third-person perspective, with more traditional RPG elements compared to the first game. The world is huge and spans several planets within a solar system. Players can own multiple ships that help them cross these huge distances. Exploration will be a big theme, and similar to Star Citizen and No Man's Sky, you'll be able to fly your ship seamlessly from planet to space without loading screens. Back in space, your mothership will serve both as your base of operations and as a way of transportation between planets. Besides the single-player mode, the game will also be playable online in co-op mode with your friends. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is probably the most ambitious game Ubisoft has ever decided to make, and that is perhaps one of the reasons why it has gone through production hell ever since it was announced. Nevertheless, it is still in active development, and any fears that it might be cancelled can be put to rest for now, as Ubisoft itself has assured. The game is scheduled to be released on all major consoles and Windows PC, with no release date yet. There is a small chance that we will see new information about the game at the Ubisoft Forward livestream event, which will take place this year on September 10th. Next at number 7 we have Ark 2, upcoming sequel to Ark Survival Evolved. It features pure third-person gameplay and completely revamped controls and movement for both players and creatures. A lot of work has been put into advanced character animations like parkour, sliding, free climbing and more. Because of this new system, melee combat is more challenging and it'll have more similarities to Dark Souls than to Arc 1. You'll have to time blocks and dodges, light and heavy attacks. Stagger mechanic is a thing now, so big emphasis is put on players' skills. Crafting is again a big part of the game and will be updated with new features. You'll construct your weapons and tools with millions of possible combinations. 
Buildings can now have their own templates that can be reused and shared in the world to build them as a team. Dynamic world events spawn all over the map and you can choose which events you want to take part in. Pick the ones with the best rewards and skip those you do not need at the moment. One of the bigger features announced is support for fully user-created mods for all platforms, including unofficial servers. So if you create a mod on PC and upload it to the cloud, it will also be available to all console players. This is a welcome change and a big plus for the longevity of the game. We wish more developers would follow this idea. The visuals are amazing, and new Unreal Engine 5 is being used to its full potential. Explore a huge alien environment and experience photorealistic day and night cycles, volumetric clouds, smoke and particles affected by physical forces, and an insane amount of geometry details. The developers are working incredibly hard to deliver the ultimate primal survival experience. Hopefully they'll be able to deploy more polished game this time around, and avoid all the issues that plagued early Arc 1. Arc 2 will be released sometime in 2023 for Windows PC and Xbox Series X. Next at number 6, there is Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy looks the way fans always wanted a Harry Potter game to look. It's a gripping open-world action RPG, set in the world of the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry, the mysterious Hogwarts itself. The game puts you in the fifth year of school as one of the four houses of Hogwarts. Attend many special classes on your way to graduation, and explore a huge detailed castle in your free time. Combat will leave a lot of room for mixing and matching dozens of spells which can be chained into powerful combos. Level up your abilities, upgrade and customize your talents, skills and gear. Build relationships with other students who can accompany you on your journey. The game will feature even some form of base building component in which you'll be able to design your own room of requirement to reflect your personality and magical specialties. And of course, what kind of a wizard would you be if you did not have your flying broom by your side, with which you'll be able to travel around the immense open world more quickly? The world beyond the castle walls is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. Overall, we think that Hogwarts Legacy perfectly captures the fantastic world of Harry Potter and will probably be the future benchmark for all games set in this magical franchise. We look forward to its release on February 10, 2023, when it will launch for the PlayStation, Xbox and PC platforms with a release for Nintendo Switch sometime later. Before we continue, if you liked this video please consider hitting that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and enable all notifications by clicking the notification bell icon. Next over at number 5 is Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl, an upcoming first-person shooter survival horror video game, developed and published by Ukrainian developer GSC Game World. You are one of the stalkers who enter the Chernobyl exclusion zone in search of artifacts of priceless value. Prepare to encounter terrible mutant creatures that will try to slaughter you following a specific behavior model. Each mutant can appear in different subtypes, which makes its pattern less predictable. The advanced artificial intelligence systems will put even the most hardcore players on their toes. The game is powered by Unreal Engine 5. Explore a photorealistic seamless open world in a 64 square kilometers radioactive zone with a variety of environments that show the post-apocalyptic atmosphere from different angles. Take care of standard survival mechanics like hunger, sleep, bleeding, and radiation effects. Stalker 2 is coming late next year for Windows PC and Xbox Series X. Originally the release was planned for 2022, but due to the current situation in Ukraine, the developers have decided to postpone it to 2023. We'll keep you updated as soon as we have more details. At number 4, we have The Day Before, an open-world MMO survival game set in a deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and cars. You wake up alone in a world you no longer remember, setting out to find answers and the resources to survive. Explore beautiful yet dangerous places, with stunningly detailed vehicles, and crush the infected and other players with realistic weapons, becoming a legend of the new world. Search abandoned vehicles, houses and skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources. Take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late. In the Survivor Colony, you can sell your loot and communicate safely with other players. When it was first announced, the day before immediately raised a lot of hype and excitement, and one of the biggest reasons is simply the looks. Graphics looks next-gen. The world is beautiful and the surroundings are full of details and interactive objects. Animations look natural and vehicle physics and behavior will depend on the terrain you're currently driving on. Gameplay-wise there are clear influences from the titles like The Division and DayZ, featuring third-person mechanics and the ability to use objects as covers. You will also have the option to craft and dismantle various items, repair and customize weapons with different attachments and much more. 
The initial release was planned for June 21, 2022, but due to the last-minute decision by developers to shift to Unreal Engine 5, the release date has been postponed to March 1, 2023. The day before is coming first to Windows PC, but according to developers, there is a possibility that PS5 and Xbox Series X versions are coming sometime in the future. At number 3 is a sequel to the insanely successful and popular Nintendo Switch exclusive, Breath of the Wild. The exact title of the sequel is still unknown, but what we do know from the trailer is that Link and Zelda set out on a new journey after the epilogue shown in Breath of the Wild. They discover a strange evil power that threatens all of Hyrule which sets a much darker tone than the original. Expect an even greater variety of features, including new encounters and some new gameplay elements. The adventure in the sequel takes place not only on the ground, but also in the skies above. Paragliding in the clouds and a freefall mechanic will let you experience the vast world of Hyrule from a new perspective. The game looks absolutely phenomenal. In fact, it looks so much better than the original that people began to doubt whether it could even run on current hardware. Some rumors suggested that it might actually be an exclusive for the still unconfirmed next-gen Switch hardware. Nintendo has officially stated that there are no plans to launch any other model at this time. But with Nintendo's fiscal year ending in March 2023, there is an interesting coincidence here. Although the release was originally planned for 2022, they decided to extend the development period a bit and postpone the release of a new successor and until spring 2023. So is the timing strategically planned to be in sync with the rumored release of a new Switch device next year, or are we just overreacting and this delay is nothing more than a standard polishing phase of the game? Only time will tell. Coming in at number 2 there is Starfield, the first new IP from Bethesda in 25 years. You can check our first impressions in a detailed breakdown video. Starfield is an epic single-player role-playing game set in space in the year 2330. The story revolves around the player joining an organization called Constellation on a quest to find strange artifacts scattered throughout the galaxy and solve the mystery that will change humanity forever. The world of Starfield consists of over 100 star systems with more than 1,000 planets. While some key locations, such as the four major cities, have been handcrafted and tailored for the best single-player experience, Bethesda used advanced procedural generation in other areas. To visit all these places, you'll have access to multiple fully customizable spaceships, suitable for interstellar jumps. Bear in mind that you won't be able to use them to seamlessly travel from space to the planet's surface and vice versa. Instead, a shortcut scene will appear during the automatic landing and takeoff sequences. The game boasts detailed character customization with deep RPG elements such as skills with different ranks and additional traits based on your character's background. Other important features like resource gathering and crafting, base building, ship hijacking and full mod support are all included in this epic space RPG, scheduled for 2023 release on Xbox and PC. And finally at number 1 we have GTA 6, undeniably a prime example of a successful open world game. In 2022, Rockstar has confirmed that a new installment of the Grand Theft Auto franchise is in the works. Since it is still too early to get solid and accurate information about the game, we will have to rely on some rumors and leaks that we have available at the moment. One of these leaks suggests that for the first time in GTA's history we will have a playable female protagonist who will be one of the two main characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde. Another rumor says that the story will take place in a modern vice city in a fictional version of Miami, with probably the biggest map we have seen in a GTA game so far. Apparently, there will also be many more interiors that we can visit and explore. Speaking of the world, Rockstar plans to update the map and introduce new locations and new content with each future DLC. 